Hey everyone, Jake here with my Bring Back, and we're continuing our series with uh, the tutorials on the UI web view for the iPad, iPhone app development. And in the previous tutorials, we went through the navigational um, buttons, bar items that we've put up here with reverse, going back, forward, etc. And in this tutorial, we're actually going to work with the UR URL bar up here. And so by enabling the URL bar, we basically made our own little browser that you can browse within. Again, you can go back, forward, home, etc., and uh, and continue with that. So that's what we're going to go through today is actually implementing this URL bar up here. So we're going to exit out of the simulator here, and uh, first thing we've got to do is we've got to establish two more items. We've got to put in an IB outlet for that text field. And I'm not even thinking that a text field. And we're just gonna call this one URL bar. And it looks like I've made a mistake here. Alright, and the the other item that we've got to establish is an action. Another action, and that's gonna be after they type in the URL, we want it to launch into our web view. So we're just gonna name this URL. Alright, so we've got our outlet established, and then we've got our action declared here as well. So now we're going to go into the XIB, the view controller, and we're going to put in the text view, text field, and then uh, also put in a little bit of spacing. So you can see we've got our URL bar here, and if we make it look pretty, we're going to go down and get some flexible, uh, flexible space bar, and put it on the other side there. Extend it a little bit more, and then select it. We're going to put a few attributes into it just to make it usable for the user. A placeholder of www so then people know that, alright, I can put a URL in this part. We're going to change the clear button so it's always visible. So even if they put in something, they can, they can click the X and delete it out of there. And then we're going to go down to the keyboard. We're going to change that from the default to the URL, and then the return key. We want it to go to be a go key. So as they put in, you know, apple.com, then click go, and it's going to correspond and go straight to apple.com. All right. So as far as what it looks like, we've got that all hooked up. What we need to now do is hook up our outlet and um, and our action as well. So if you click the file owner here. Go over to the far right, your connections. We're going to take the URL and attach it to the text field. It's going to give you a list of options here, you know, touch, drag, inside. We're going to do the did end on exit. So that's basically going to mean as they click go, it's going to, it's going to take off and go forward. Then we're going to connect our outlet text field there. And that's just another way to do it of connecting your, your connections there. Again, the other way is is to uh, click your item here, click control and drag it over to the file owners for your actions and uh, file owner to your to your object there to establish your outlet. All right, so now we're going to go into the uh, implementation, the .m file, and we're going to we're going to write out our action. And so with that, right after our other action of launch, right after the the last curly bracket, go ahead and give you a little, yourself a little bit of space there. And this is where we're going to write in our IB action. And then it's URL colon ID sender. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to write in the code here, copy and paste it in, and then we'll go through it one second. All right, now as I copy and paste this in, I realized. I actually put a semicolon here where we actually need a curly bracket. And then uh, wrap that up with your other connecting curly bracket. All right. So we've got the string starting. And this is going to be the query for the URL bar, which is going to be a text. And as you can see here, URL text, string replaced occurrences of string. And then end it over here. And then we're going to establish the URL, which is our URL query and then we're going to format it. So we've got the ns URL, URL string, string, string with format, and then we're going to put in HTTP 
here. And this basically allows the user to put in just apple.com instead of having to put HTTP, etc., apple.com. This gives it a little bit more user, user functionality. And then we're calling the query, which we've already established up here. Then we're going to request the URL. So we've got an NS URL request. Name it request, NS URL request, request with URL from our query. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take that request and we're going to load it. We're going to load it to our URL, UI web page. So we've got a web page load request of our request there. So that should be everything as far as the action that we've established and the outlet that we've hooked up. So let's go ahead and run it, see what it looks like, and we'll go from there. Alright, so you can see our bar is nicely centered up there. So if we put in apple.com, click return or go, and you can see it's loaded correctly on our web page now. So again, we can use our navigational bar up here to go forward and back, go home, refresh, etc. So now we've got almost like a mini browser within our app, which makes it a little bit more user friendly and uh, a little bit more user functions with the uh, URL bar up here. So hopefully that helps. Um, kind of uh, wrapping up the last tutorial series on the UI web view. We'll get into some more you know, advanced stuff and more functional stuff as you guys see in the, the future tutorials. Again, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are looking for and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, peace out guys.